Bonjour. Welcome to my French web radio, the web radio of the Alliance Française of Malaysia. In this special edition, we are welcoming Sou Ayla, a Malaysian songwriter and singer who performed for the Fête de la Musique 2022. C'est parti. Bonjour Sou Ayla. Bonjour. Thank you for coming and sharing with us your passion. Thank you for having me on board. We're going to move on to the first questions. Okay. How did you get into the music industry? Mm -hmm. What is, if you can tell us a bit more about your background and what do you, what have you been up to mm. lately? So how did I get into the music industry? I don't even know where exactly to start. I mean, I feel like I've been singing for a long time, but if we're talking about more like professionally kind of mm -hmm. um i think right after or at the end of my uni days um i got picked up by like a startup label which didn't really work out but from there i got like a a few um experiences with like studio recording okay. and performing so after that i part ways with them but i decided to go independently so I have been singing and songwriting for I don't know how many years. Um, I'm not sure exactly. I can't really think right off the top of my head right now. But I decided to go for open mics okay. and just started to perform with just me and an acoustic guitar. Like probably, I don't know, five years back. Probably five years back. So okay. I just went out. Some of my friends asked if I wanted to do an open mic. So I joined a bunch of open mic sessions, uh, played original songs, original music, and just put my songs out there, put okay. myself out there. So from joining all these things, um, you know, you get to know people, yeah. and then they invited me to perform for other shows or other events. And then from there, you get some private events, and then I started getting festivals mm -hmm. uh, like Rio, um, amongst others. And yeah, from there, I just started. And... I got to know a bunch of other musicians in the indie music scene and then we got together and some of them started playing with me as, you know, a backing band and some of them ended up producing my song like Mika from Son of a Policeman. Okay. So he produced my first song that I put out, uh, Set Blue Eyes. So mm -hmm. that is out uh, on Spotify as well. Um, yeah. And that's basically how I started, like, mm -hmm. you know, long story short. Obviously, there's, like, a lot of things in between. Yeah. But I think I, I if imagine. we're talking about um, properly doing it as, like, more of a professional career as a singer-songwriter, that's yeah. more or less how it started. So it's always, like, it started as, you know, just putting myself out there, not even getting mm -hmm. shows that are paying me, but just, you know, want to go out and perform in yeah, front of an and audience. And yeah, and just getting feedback. Because yeah. I love it when I perform an original song, which nobody knows and then ask them like oh do you guys like this Did song like yeah and because then from there i know oh, okay people actually yeah. like uh, my stuff so then i started writing more and performing more mm -hmm. yeah so um you've been performing with us as well at mm -hmm. the Fête de la musique yeah yeah so uh, performed at Fête de la musique yeah so that was a five-piece band because yeah. i had a keyboardist a guitarist mm -hmm. a drummer um, a bassist, so that was fun as well. Yeah, thank you, you like for for having me as one <laughs> of the performers. Yeah, yeah. How did you like the experience? Have you? I really enjoyed it myself, and I was nervous and excited at the same mm -hmm. time because it was basically my first time performing at Rex KL. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I've went to a few shows there, watching other people, yeah. and always felt like, oh, this would be a cool yeah, place to get really to perform. Big. Yeah. It's, it's so when you guys reached out, I was like, oh, yay! Like. Because we submitted, right? And, and we didn't know if we were going to get it. So mm -hmm. And then you guys were like, okay, you guys were one of the um, listed performers. So I was nervous, yeah, but yeah. also excited. Yeah. yeah. Have you had any challenges while performing there? Um, I would say because in comparison to most of the other performers, my set uh, was pretty chill because of um, the nature of my original songs and the songs I choose to perform which are more you know R&B yeah. soul and right now a lot of my originals are pretty laid back pretty chill so for me the challenge is always to you know how do I get the audience's attention yeah. you know in comparison to other bands or performers that are more dancey or more upbeat mm -hmm. um, and get people going but it was interesting because as I was nervous about that, a lot of people actually said they enjoyed my set. You know, they had a good time just listening and, yeah. uh, you know, just chilling uh, to my set. So, yeah. 
it was a bit of a challenge when you get a crowd and then you're like oh i don't know if i'm like too <laughs> slow too late back for them but, but do they uh, want i don't yeah know. yeah do they want to listen to me but yeah i got actually like a great responses so as you know the fred de la musique is a french uh, is a french holiday mm -hmm. so do you have any like any french music influences um unfortunately i don't um so Like I knew you guys were gonna ask me this question. It got me thinking. Like, oh, do, uh, I, do I, I do have, have any? I like, mean, okay. unfortunately, I don't really. But I'm always open to listening to a lot yeah. of you know different music from yeah. different places and different people. What are your biggest influences? Then? Uh, right now, cause since I'm doing R and B soul, so yeah. lately I've been listening to a lot of like um, Snow Allegra, Daniel oh, yeah. Caesar, Alicia Keys, and um. A few of new artists would be like Olivia Dean. I don't know if you've heard of her. I covered one of her songs at Sunny Days. So she's amazing as well. Yeah. I think she's a new up-and-coming artist as well. Um, yeah, those are among of my current influences. But um, one of uh, an old singer that I always go back to is Nina Simone. Is there any like an artist you would love to collaborate with in the upcoming months? Uh, yes. In the upcoming months, I'm... Not entirely sure because right now I'm more focused on um, getting more of my songs yeah. out. Um, but oh, I wanted to mention you because you were asking about French artists, I did um, last time came across this singer who sings in French, but I'm not sure if she's French. I think she's Congolese. Um, Luz and the Yakuza. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's amazing. I saw her video uh, on Colors Studio. Yeah. Then I went on like a search on YouTube and I found her NPR Tiny Music Desk uh, session and it was amazing. Obviously, I don't understand what she's singing, but you know, yeah. all whatever language you're singing, if, if it comes through, it comes through. Yeah, yeah, so I like good. her vibe. I like her vibe. I like her voice, okay. like deep, raspy. And she also has like this, she raps and sings kind yeah, of at really the same time. Yeah, it's very unique. So she, that really caught really, my attention. Yeah. So if we're talking about French artists right now, she's like, you know, yeah. someone I'm, I'm really like yeah, paying attention I to. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. She's, uh, she's really new. I yeah. mean, not even that new. She's been like, Working since a, since a while, mm -hmm. a while in the in the French industry, but she's really started to get bigger for like yeah. a year or two. I think mm -hmm. since 2020. Yeah. And so she, she's really. I think Connor has really helped. Yeah. She's really broadcaster. Yeah, 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 and she's really different and unique. I mm -hmm. think so. She has that going yeah. for her. Yeah. Yeah. She's she's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay. F so for the longer questions, that's mm -hmm. all for now. Yeah. So we're gonna <laughs> move on uh, to the short and sweet questions. All right. Uh, it's like it's a would you rather it's a bit like a bit of everything you know okay cool it's 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 a bit fun mm -hmm. <laughs> okay so the first question is so I'm gonna say two words every time you pick one okay uh, so the first question is nasi lemak or croissant I gotta say nasi lemak mm -hmm. <laughs> true Malaysian <laughs> although like I'm currently part timing at a cafe and once in a while we do have croissant sandwiches. Um, it's good. Croissant is good once in a while. Yeah, but, but I always say nasi lemak yeah. all the way. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. Um, the next one, Petronas Tower or Eiffel Tower? Uh, I think Eiffel Tower just because I've never actually seen it in person and I really mm -hmm. want to. Okay. So yeah, hopefully one day. Hopefully one day? Yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you would love it. Mm -hmm. um, the third one is uh, Facebook or Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. I have people always ask me this: Do I have Facebook? I'm like, I do, but don't try and look me up there. I'm not active there, so yeah, I'm always on Instagram. So yes, Instagram. Oh uh, yeah. Um, French kiss or French fries? Ooh, mm -hmm. wow! French kiss or French fries? This is this difficult. Is a hard one. Yeah. Um, maybe French fries. I don't know. It would be weird if I say French kiss, but uh, maybe. Both, both. <laughs> yeah, have, you can do have, both. have a French fries and then French kiss. That would be kind of weird, right? I mean, I would, uh, yeah, yeah. Be <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> yeah. Um, the first one would be evolution or revolution. Ooh, revolution. Okay. Um, big events or smaller uh, concerts. Um. Okay, I would say smaller concerts, even though big events are fun and exciting. Sometimes nothing beats like an intimate show. Yeah, yeah, 
So yeah, small. Yeah, the, the connection. Mm -hmm. The connection, the vibe, you know, mm -hmm. the intimacy between you and the person you're watching. Yeah. Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Mm -hmm. I mean, not really because I'm not an artist. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um, past or future? Come again? Past or future? Best? Past or future? Oh, all right. Um, future, I think, because, you know, you can't really change the past, but, you know, you can still kind of yeah. change the future. You can mm -hmm. act upon it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, movie or TV shows? Uh, maybe TV shows, I think, because I enjoy watching, like, series. Yeah. Like, yeah, sometimes y y you get into a black hole and you just watch one episode after the other. Yeah, you and you just, yeah, it keeps you in the edge of your seat. Like, oh, when is the next one coming out? Yeah. So, yeah, and maybe shows, TV shows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. Um, cats or dogs? Cats or dogs? Yeah. Cats. I'm a very <laughs> cat person. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have one? Yes, I have one. Oh. Yeah, so cats. <laughs> biased. <laughs> Cat owners biased. <laughs> cats for the win. Yeah. And last one, music. Jazz music or rock music? Jazz music or? Or rock music. Rock music. Mm, I want to say jazz music, but at the same time, rock music is pretty fun. So maybe rock? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> right? Let's choose rock. Nothing can beat a, a really good rock show. So, yeah. even though as an R&B soul singer, people would think I would be tempted to say jazz. And yeah, yes. But at the same time, yeah, you know, rock shows rock are great. Rock is, is incredible. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, that was all for the, all right. uh, the, the fun uh, little questions and for the interview. Mm -hmm. Thank you uh, for coming and joining Thank us. Thank you so uh, much again for having me. <laughs> that was interesting and fun. I didn't really know what answers I was going to give, but yeah, we made it. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> more like a discussion. No worries. Like, there's yeah. really no pressure. It's more like getting yes. together. Thank you also for having me. This is my first time in EFKL. Yeah. Do, yeah. You, do you like the place? Yeah, I like the place. Yeah. It's amazing. I like the art that are that are on the walls. Yeah, we're really lucky to have them for it. Yes. Hopefully I'll come here again for yeah. I don't know what reason, but <laughs> find a reason to come <laughs> and meet you guys. We'll, we'll send you invitations. <laughs> yes. To the stuff. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you Lucy. so much. Have a, have a nice night. Yes, you too. Thank you for listening. If you had a good time and want to listen to more podcasts, don't hesitate to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or visit our website www.alliancefrancaise.org.my.